Hi everyone, I'm here to tell you guys what I learned from my Cloud Partner Exchange. Unfortunately, I only received one email back from my uh, partners this time around, but I still got some valu valuable information from them. Um, one of the things I learned was that in Taiwan, uh, it's more common for the teachers to use the grammar translation approach. Uh, this is because in Taiwan, the standardized method is to have all the students study the material, study all the texts and everything, and then take a, a test afterwards. So the, the tests really place the, the students and in, in where they are at, um, which English level they fall into uh, based on, on the tests. And uh, one of the other things I found out is that they're actually not able to communicate in English very much. Uh, a, a lot of what they, they told me is that the, the teachers are basically teaching the, the class and, and all the students are taking notes during the lectures. So there, there's no real interaction between the students and the teachers. There's just sort of a, a cutoff there. And uh, at least one of the students uh, said uh, that they would like to see Taiwan moving more towards a communicative approach uh, because they want to be able to use their their English in everyday situations and, and be able to practice with someone who might be able to give them more pointers on on their pronunciation or or what to say or what not to say in certain situations it would just be a lot more helpful if they could uh, talk to each other in English um, which brings me to the point of um, the English only zones which uh, one of my questions was about the English only zones which they do not have in uh, the National Taiwan Normal University but somebody said that at cram schools uh, they do have such a thing as uh, English only zones, but my students, my my partners um, believed that the the English only zones would benefit them also at their university, and um, they would feel incentivized to gain extra points from that or or, or something uh, of the like if if some of the students were, I guess, more embarrassed or um, more affected by um, practicing their English in, in front of their peers. But I think that those are some good ideas that I got from my, my partners. I think the English only zone or the English only time idea is, is a good one, um, especially in uh, teaching English as a foreign language situation because you're not able to really use your English out in the world um, when, you know, in a situation like Taiwan where everyone out on the street is speaking uh, either Mandarin or possibly uh, Taiwanese with the older generation. So you don't see a lot of English interactions out there. So, um, yeah, I've, I've learned some pretty valuable things from for my partners and hopefully they respond back to my uh, my follow-up questions but yeah that's what I've learned thus far